And you may not notice this based on when I upload my videos on YouTube in the future, but this is my first hike in three and a half months. Basically hiked all of November, December, and the first couple weeks of January. And I thought, this is just taking way too much of my free time when I have to finish my papers and dissertation for a PhD by the end of this summer. So I decided to hang up hiking temporarily because it's not just these hikes that take up a lot of time. I plan the day before. I do all day drives and hikes. I'm pretty wiped the next day. And then I spend a lot of my free time during the week editing pictures, editing video, editing GPS tracks, uploading those and writing a story on Facebook and Google and writing trip reports for hiking upward. And I thought enough, enough is enough. I'm gonna be a couch potato, watch sports on the weekend and write and do statistics. And I did a lot of work, but I got fed up with it. I figured I need to get back outside. So why not return to my favorite place in North Carolina, the Black Mountains. This is my second edition of my sarcastic, spiteful hikes for the NC High Peaks Association. Doing another loop towards my goal of finishing the Black Mountains hiking challenge this year. I'm basically doing the exact same loop I did many years ago. I started at the Mount Mitchell restaurant and hike the old Mitchell trail down to uh, the ranger station at Steps Gap. Also did a quick bushwhack up to Hallback Mountain, even though I've done it before. It was a good five minute warm up. And now I'm doing an unnecessary out and back up to Gibbs Mountain, or Mount Gibbs actually. Another ranked 6,000 foot peak that I've already done. So my main loop is gonna knock out the old Mitchell Trail, the Commissary Trail, a section of the Buncombe Range Horse Trail out to Maple Camp Bald. Then I'm gonna take the Big Tom Gap Trail up to the Black Mountain Crest Trail, up to Mount Mitchell, and then finish the old Mitchell Trail at the restaurant. This loop is a pretty easy loop. I didn't wanna to go too hard for my first hike in months. So I think it's gonna be between nine and 10 miles and maybe about 2,500, 2,600 feet of elevation gain because I'm including some unnecessary out and backs just to uh, make up for lost time and peak bagging and do some repeat summits. It is a beautiful day, glad I got out here. I started in the morning at a short warm up to Craggy Pinnacle and the wind was roaring temperatures were in the low 30s but the wind's supposed to die down after 12 o'clock today it's going to be in the low to mid 50s with bright blue skies so i hope you enjoy this hike i'm sure given my lack of youtube editing this is not going to go up for another few months probably in the fall or the winter I'm getting close to finishing the commissary trail once I walk around the headwaters of Lower Creek, which uh, has a very audible roar right now. It's rained a lot in the past week, and I'm sure that there are some unexplored waterfalls down below. The commissary trail climbs up the ridge line to commissary hill on the other side of those power lines in the distance ending at a junction with the Buncombe Horse Range Trail. I mispronounced that earlier. It is, I said it was the Range Horse Trail. You can tell I'm out of practice. From there, I'm gonna continue north towards Maple Camp Bald, skipping the Mount Mitchell Trail final assault on Commissary Ridge, which I did in the winter. High above the historic Camp Alice ruins down in here. And the summit of Mount Mitchell is up there. 
and the trees on the south side of the summit are the tallest uh, kind of hiding the views of the observation tower that you can see from other angles I'm at a nice spot on the Buncombe Horse Range Trail that I've nicknamed in the past Fork Ridge Bald. This extends from Mount Craig above, dividing the Rock Creek and Thee Creek watersheds. It's basically a miniature version of Maple Camp Bald, which is towards the north on the right side of Balsam Cone. There's still really great views from here and some good camp sp camping sites. And no one really uses the Buncombe Horse Range Trail, so you're likely to have this all to yourself. You can see the cut of the horse trail on the eastern flank of Commissary Ridge and Mount Mitchell with some impressive rock faces dotting the landscape. And Mount Mitchell is up here. There's a cut for probably the upper parking lot and I believe the observation towers around here but you know it's hard to tell right now. So I'm gonna continue moving on to Maple Camp Bald where I'll stop for lunch. This is the spectacular Maple Camp Bald. A prominent heath and grassy bald finger due east of Balsam Cone. The main view is in this large grassy patch on the south side, but I've actually explored the bald above and in the distance there. And I don't really see many possibilities of views to the north from here. I don't know, I didn't encircle the bald all the way around this time. Maybe another day when I have more time, I'll uh, explore the north side of the bald, bald in its entirety. But once you start climbing up, uh, it turns from grass to these canes and shrubby mountain laurels and rhododendron. and It's uh, tougher to walk through. So from here we have a awesome view to the east overlooking the South Toe River Valley. On the left there are the many rock faces of Dobson Knob and Bald Knob. And to the left of that, obscured by the hill, is Limbo Gorge. And to the southwest, to the southeast is Morganton, Lake James, and the Catawba Valley with the South Mountains rising above. These are the headwaters of Thee Creek below. Thee Creek has some of the most impressive off-trail waterfalls in the Black Mountains that are very hard to get to. I haven't done that yet. And this is Fork Ridge which divides the creek and rock creek and due south the largest peak that you can see is green knob which has a fire tower further south across the eastern continental divide and the origins of the catawba and swan Hill rivers are the hickory nut mountains i believe the big round peak right here is bear wallow mountain and to the left of that is Schumont. And just like the bald on Fork Ridge, we have a very awesome view to the west and southwest of the highest peaks of the Black Mountains. This is where I was earlier. This is the Fork Ridge bald. It's a couple hundred feet higher in elevation, but not as open. Better views from here. And it's a little bit easier to see the parking area around Mount Mitchell. That is Big Tom with the summit of Mount Craig to the back left. And then 
balsam cone. And from here, I'm gonna backtrack on the Bunkum Horse Range Trail and take the short but steep Big Tom Gap Trail about here, where I'll pick up the Black Mountain Crest Trail and head south over Mount Craig and to Mount Mitchell. Before I begin the 1,000 foot slog up to Big Tom, by far the toughest portion of the loop today, let me show you the map and the trails I've hiked. I actually brought with me three maps that you can use, and there are actually a couple more maps I believe that you can use for the area, both by the Pisgah Map Company, which is a great company, but I don't need that much redundancy because I already own too many maps. The first map that I purchased many years ago is the National Geographic Limbo Gorge Mount Mitchell map, which got me lost in Limbo Gorge, has a 1 in 75,000 scale, and I don't recommend that for off-trail navigation or, in general, hiking trails that are not frequently used by the public. You can pick up the free Mount Mitchell State Park map at the ranger station, and you should be able to get by using this. Uh, almost every portion of this hike is shown on that paper map. But the best map by far, in my opinion, is the National Forest Service, South Toe River, Mount Mitchell, and Big Ivy map at a 1 in 24,000 scale. On the right, the green denotes Pisgah National Forest, and Mount Mitchell State Park is actually a pretty small state park in purple basically just covering the top of a few peaks around Mount Mitchell. So normally I would begin the hike at the ranger station at Steps Gap, but because the restaurant and gift shop are not open, there are no bathrooms that can be used other than at the ranger station, so they have a two hour parking limit. So I parked at the restaurant, which has a much bigger parking lot anyways, and followed the Old Mitchell Trail down to the Gap and did this forest road up to Mount Gibbs and then followed the Commissary Trail towards Camp Alice, picking up the Buncombe Horse Range Trail, which I followed north towards Maple Camp Bald. The Buncombe Horse Range Trail is not frequently used, but it's a lot like the Ivester Gap and Graveyard Ridge Trails in the Shining Rock Wilderness area in that they are forest road or railroad grade trails that are well below the height of the um, crest of the mountain range. And there are multiple ways to connect the shoulders to the Black Mountain Crest Trail, just like there are multiple ways to connect the Ivester Gap Trail to the Art Lobe Trail, which also crosses the crest of the Great Balsam Mountains. I'm at this trail junction currently and I'm gonna take the Big Tom Gap Trail up to the Black Mountain Crest Trail and then turn south, going over Mount Craig and then summiting Mount Mitchell and then following the Old Mitchell Trail back to the restaurant where the hike will end. That pointy boulder right there is the true summit of Mount Craig, the second highest peak in the east. It is five o'clock now. I knew I was gonna get here late afternoon, so the views aren't the best towards the west and south from Mount Craig. You really should hit this in the morning, but still an amazing peak. And I only have one more climb of the day and it's not nearly as tough. It's a long and gradual out to Mount Mitchell before the downhill on the old Mitchell Trail. And uh, just a PSA, I do this in every video when I cross Mount Craig. These logs are here for a reason. These rock ledges on Mount Craig are home to an endangered, fragile environment of plants and 
if there's people up here, I always see them stepping off the trail to get various spots on these rocks, even though signs on both sides of the trail warn you that it's against the rules of the state park. So if you're here, just enjoy the view from the trail. There's also a better view a little bit down of Mount Mitchell than where I'm standing. I'll show you that next. I am back at the Mount Mitchell restaurant. Just finished the big hike of the day. It is around 6.30 p.m. and I've been hiking for around seven hours in the Mount Mitchell area. Additionally, I warmed up with Craggy Pinnacle. I think that hike was around 30 to 40 minutes. So I've hiked close to eight hours for my first hike in about three and a half months. Pretty good day. A lot more tiring than I expected, but that is mainly because I'm out of hiking shape. And I always underestimate the terrain in the Black Mountains, even though it's my favorite mountain range in the state. I keep coming back for the forest and the views and the high elevation. But I am glad that I didn't do my original plan of the day, uh, which would have been the Colbert Ridge Buncombe Horse Range Loop. Uh, that would have had me crying and cursing less than halfway through that 13 mile, 4,500 foot elevation gain hike. So I'm gonna save that for later in the summer when I'm back in good shape, ready to tackle some more trails on the Black Mountains hiking challenge list. So today I got to ride off uh, three complete trails, the Old Mitchell Trail, Commissary Trail, and Big Tom Gap Trail, and do two sections of two longer trails the Black Mountain Crest Trail and the Buncombe Horse Range Trail. So I'm about 30% of the way through that challenge. And I think if I play my cards right, I can finish the challenge uh, in about five or six big hikes. So I can definitely do that by the end of the year. And I'm completely focused on it now. There's some other peak bagging challenges I've been doing the past few years. I kind of started on the Pisgah 400 challenge, but this is a much more manageable a hiking challenge that was just started and I like to get those out of the way and I get to track some new loops that uh, I don't have on hiking upward uh, so I'm gonna finish up and stop at a brewery in Marion or Morganton and uh, see you guys next time